What's going on, everybody? This is your girl, K. Rich, and I'm coming at you from a PK perspective. It seems like it's been a long time <laughs> um, since I've done a video, but um, I speak when God gives me the go. So <laughs> I'm not going to come on here and just ramble. But I've been, you know, reading and watching videos and different things, and it's so crazy how so many people um, are looking for healing. So many people are looking for justification. So many people are looking for answers. So many people um, are just looking for the mending of the Lord. And I was one of those people. I wanted to know why and how could it be. And, you know, God, da, 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 da. But in the midst of it all, God gave me instruction. And I'm here to tell you guys, there is healing in obedience. And there is healing in the instruction that God gives. Um, with all the way down to, for me, you know, trusting people, um, allowing people in into my life in a, a, a place of closeness that, for me, I was like, never again. Or, I'm not going to let anybody get too close. Um... <laughs> and some of it is my personality I'm just not a very um, Open to everybody Putting my business out in the street Let everybody know what I'm doing Where I'm at And all that stuff Not one of those people And then to have been Hurt time after time Letting people in I kind of was like Yeah I'm done with people You know <laughs> Letting them in my life And What's so funny is Immediately <laughs> Immediately after that, God, I'm sorry y'all, my throat is kind of messed up, so if I sound real raggedy, it's, uh, it's, it's not my natural voice, even though it is deep. But immediately after telling God, I'm not letting anybody in close, this, that, and the other, he put somebody, he placed somebody strategically in my life. And to look back on it now, I'm so thankful that I was open. I'm so thankful for you know, her patience um, <laughs> in my hurt place to actually allow her to be a friend. Just be a friend. Like, it's so crazy that people are so impatient with others who are hurting but want all of this grace and patience when they're hurting. But I'm so thankful for someone else to have patience you know, in a place where I was really, really guarded, really standoffish. Um, and just being obedient to God, in the obedience to God, in the go when he said go, in the move when he said move, in the following of the instructions that he's given me, in just, I mean, obedience, don't do this, go there, don't say that, don't, you know, or I want you to go do this, actually reach out, open up to this person, do this, and it was, it's like, for me, some of it was pulling teeth, but man, I'm so thankful for the obedience because that has been what's allowed me to actually heal from some of the things that, you know, I was hurting from. There is such peace in obedience to God. And that's kind of the best thing I can say. And the crazy part is God is so amazing in his sovereignty like he knows exactly what to do he knows exactly who to put in your life he knows the exact step you need to take he knows and if we could just be obedient humble ourselves if we could just you know trust in that sovereignty if we really would would have that relationship with god where we know that it's it's for our good whatever it is is for our good whatever it is it's it's going to be beneficial whatever it is it's going to help us. Even some of the hurts that we experience are to grow us, are to mature us. They're to, they're to help us, you know, be fit for the next level. Just like with exercise, it's not like I go through here and when I'm working out, everything feels great. It's days, this mess hurts. It's days I don't want to get in the gym. But do I say, well, because it hurts, it's not good for me? Or because it's not easy, it's not good for me? No, I know that the, the tough things are the best things for me. Same with God. God understands us. And he knows that the things that may come uh, off as tough or difficult may be the exact things we need to prune us, to build us, to grow us. 
and just being obedient in the midst of being hurt, just being obedient and being at a place where, number one, I can hear him and then hearing him and saying, yes, Lord, not my will, God, but your will. Man, there's so much power in your yes to God. And I'm not talking about a one time yes. I'm not talking about a daily yes. I'm talking about throughout the day, numerous yeses, yeses to God that just help us to get to where we need to be. And it helps us to get to in touch with the people that, you know, we need in our lives. If it hadn't been for me listening to God and, you know, stretching myself and actually, you know, contacting or not, not even contacting, giving this person access to me, I wouldn't have, first of all, met someone who showed patience. I wouldn't have met, you know, my church family now. I wouldn't, you know, I, I wouldn't, uh, I could go on and on, but you, when you understand that God, God's sovereignty is for your good, it's easier to be obedient. So I just implore everybody, you know, to, to seek God and be obedient. I'm, I'm telling you, healing will come in your obedience. Letting down, you know, or getting rid of those frustration, peace will come in your obedience. And I'm one of the people that I, I did not expect it. I'm not saying I didn't think God could do it, but I did not expect it to come through obedience. I was still like, well, when am I going to heal God? When is my healing going to come, God? When is it, when am I going to get a chance to heal? When am I going to get a chance to let it go? When am I going to get a chance to just let people have peace in my mind like they let me? When am I going to get a chance? And in obedience, in service, in, 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 in loving God, in worship, like I, it's like he gave me something in the midst of it that's better than what I thought I was going to get asking him uh, to just give it to me on my own. So just something I have uh, for you guys today. And I pray that everybody out there who's frustrated or who's hurting or who's dealing with something will begin to find that healing and find that peace in their obedience to God. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. Peace.